cut and sew and sweater knits are very different for obvious reasons. And they're also very different when you sketch them. Now, I talked a little bit about how to draw a sweater sketch in Illustrator in these two videos. But I didn't cover this one thing, and it's something I've been talking to my students about for the past week and a half, and that is drawing full fashion marks. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I am a digital fashion specialist teaching digital fashion design and communication through my company, 383 Design Studio, as well as the Fashion Institute of Technology and Jefferson University. I talk about digital fashion software and design communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, this is my last student inspired video, at least for the semester, but I've been discussing sweaters in several of my classes so the students could design their own sweaters. But what's been happening is that their sketches are looking like knit tops. So to ensure there's some distinction within their sketches, I suggested some things to make them a little more sweatery. One of those things, which is cables, I discuss in the two videos I mentioned previously. So check those out if you want to incorporate cables into your sweater design. But the other is fashion marks. And you'll see this often on sweaters and even knit tops that are fully fashioned. So let's talk about why they're there and how to draw them. The shaping on full fashion garments is made directly on a machine as opposed to using darts or pleats or any other construction details you might add on a woven for shaping. The shaping is done by increasing or decreasing the number of needles being used while the panel is being knit. And as a result, you see these fashion marks on the garment. Now like the cables, most designers create a brush to show this on their sketch. And most people keep the brush really simple. The brush in use looks like this, and you really only need to create it once, save it to your CC libraries, and you can use that same brush over and over again. Now brushes are always created horizontally, so start with a short diagonal line. This one is 0.5 stroke weight, and create a definition box around that. Make sure you include space for the spacing you want between your marks, but after you remove any color from your definition box, send it to the back, select the definition box and the art and drag it into the brushes panel. Then to use it, just draw your line and apply the brush. Now I talk about this issue in this video, but you'll definitely want to create a second version of this brush for the other side of your sketch because as you can see, after you reflect the line, the fashion marks are facing the wrong direction. The easiest way to make another brush is to duplicate the, the first one, double click it to open the pattern brush options and under flip, choose flip along. Once you choose okay, select the line you need to change and choose the new flipped pattern brush. You might also see this drawn with a line next to the marks or with a line and the marks on either side of the line. I usually see those more for chunkier sweaters, but any of these options can be used on your sweater sketch that you draw in Illustrator. Thanks for watching today's video. If you want to learn Illustrator or up the ante on your Illustrator for fashion skills, make sure you check out the links in the description to take my online courses or for private tutoring. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.